Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the common problem with these Chinese machines, which is the very sensitive and jerky controls that you have when you're running these uh, machines. Uh, yeah, you can look through the forums and you look through the Facebook and you can find out that people say throttle it back to half throttle. You need to know more time in the seat, more time just learning to finesse the actual controls. Yes, that does work. Uh, one thing that's been coming out now is putting in a spring kit. Uh, apparently it only mainly works for the pilot control units, but what happens is under here when we take this apart, you're going to see four plungers. The plungers don't have any springs on them, and so there's very little resistance when you're actually moving your controls. And so what that does is if you're sitting in the seat and you're moving back and forth, you're going to push that control too hard or too fast, and that's going to cause that jerkiness. When we put the spring in there, what's going to happen is it's going to go add a little bit of resistance in there. It's going to help you slow down and help you control that uh, arm a little bit more. So we'll go through, we'll take this apart, and uh, we'll see what it looks like in there, and then we'll see if it makes any difference for us. Okay, so we got a part here. This rubber just pops up off the top of this ring here. Here you can see the plungers right here. So when you operate the control, it's going to push that plunger down. It's going to send the hydraulic uh, sensor down to the bore to the actual pump, and it's going to uh, do whichever control you want. So as you can see, there's no resistance in here whatsoever. So we're going to try and put a spring on top of here that's going to help pull some of that back. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's the spring kit that I got off of Amazon. It's not going to be the same one that you get from the PilotSpringsMod.com. Uh, the price was $29 US plus $30 US shipping plus exchange and duty. Uh, so by the time I got here to Canada, it was going to be over $100. So it was uh, a little too pricey for me. So I got these ones out to uh, uh, Amazon for about 12 bucks. Okay, so that's one side. You can definitely feel the difference in the pressure to move that around. So we'll see how it's going to work out. So I'm just going to flip over and do the other side and then we'll go take it outside and try it out.
Well, guys, how would I rate this change? I would say, well, I'd say four out of five stars, I'd say. Like, uh, so this extra pressure on here probably reduces the jerkiness by 30 to 40%. Allows you to have a little more finesse, a little more control on those pilot controls, slow things down so you're not jerky. If you slam these from side to side, it's still gonna be jerky. You're not gonna be able to pull that out of there. Some guys have been putting in uh, flow control valves and cushion valves. Uh, those have some uh, p pretty positive effects as well, but they do contribute to the heat of the hydraulic system in the machine as well. Something to keep in mind there. Anyways, I would say for the 11 bucks that it cost me in the 15 minutes, I would say this is well worth if you're going to do it to any of these machines with the pilot controls. Um, I think if you could get a slightly heavier spring, that might even be a little bit better on the system as well. Uh, other than that, uh, if you want to check out my channel, I've got a few more videos on a bunch of the mods I've done to this machine, including how to install that hydraulic thumb over there, which is an excellent modification as well. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers.